We start with a Fox News alert this morning, a story that we've been telling you about all morning. Christians targeted in a bloody Easter weekend attack in Pakistan, at least 70 confirmed dead, many women and children, more than 300 injured. The Taliban claiming responsibility for this. The U.S. State Department did condemn the attack, but failed to mention that Christians were the ones specifically targeted. Yep, uh, let's bring in former presidential candidate himself, Dr. Ben Carson, joining us right now from Florida. Obviously, tragic news, doctor. Does it matter that much uh, whether you put the word Christian in the attack or not? Yes, it matters tremendously. You know, that's the same pattern that was exhibited uh, with some of the Christian attacks uh, in the other parts of the Middle East. You know, this is craziness that we simply refuse to acknowledge it and uh, allow it to continue to grow. And, you know, I can't really explain why our administration goes out of its way not to include the fact that Christians are being persecuted. But, of course, this has implications for our country, too, in the future. Absolutely. And unfortunately, attacks like this were, you know, are being exported to Europe. We've seen a migrant crisis exploited by ISIS in, you know, through Iraq and Syria and Turkey and Greece and, and now into Europe. And yet, uh, as we see these protests and we see these attacks, our own president, we're not just talking about Christians and won't, he won't acknowledge radical Islam, is talking about openness to refugees, bringing in more refugees in reaction. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, again, it doesn't make a lot of sense. If you know that those, those, those refugees are going to be infiltrated by radical Islamic terrorists, why would you even entertain the thought? You would be looking for alternatives. And we have perfect alternatives. You know, the Syrian refugees can easily be uh, taken to the northeast section, uh, Alasaka province. Uh, there's infrastructure there. There are Kurds there, there are Christians there, there are moderate Sunnis there who can help protect them. We can bring in an international force and uh, they don't have to be repatriated to another place where they have a different culture. And it costs us less money and it's much safer for us. It makes too much sense for our government to consider it. Uh, 